Welcome to the Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl Show. The pod with a dope squad talking about life, all straight with no chaser. Thanks for clicking that play button. Take a shot and join your host, Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl, also known as Rob, Mike, and Dunia. We're back. We are back. Episode 17. Oh my god. 17. That's I would crazy. say it in Spanish, but I don't know how. <laughs> DSS, DSS 7. DSS. Isn't that one of your favorite Fleetwood Mac songs? 17 and something. Edge of 17. Yes. Yep. Thank you. 17 was, you. Was, okay. was, was a good year. Yeah. <laughs> Almost yeah. to. 19. <laughs> 19. Oh. <laughs> 19 <laughs> episodes. Two more told 19. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be 19 jobs we did. Yeah. yeah. Well, we put in more work than that, technically, because we have side. I have 1,900. Yeah. I you was... guys should get a PPP loan. No, oh, hell oh, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. No, no they're nah, coming yeah, after people. Yeah. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. And they, I just know yeah. that you got to pay that back. Yeah. <laughs> Ass tax. I don't. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know what a loan is. Well, I do. unless I loan you, loan. unless I loan you some money and I need my money back. Well, yeah. come get it. I'm, get it back. I'm just gonna be like, can I have this? Yeah, that's the best way to do it. We have a yeah. special guest. An extra special guest. She yeah. has extra special. Yeah. Actual family. She's yeah. here. <laughs> She's dancing. <laughs> the gator dance. <laughs> they don't know what that is. I mean, I was listening. Listening. Mo Better Blues. I listened to Look some podcasts. Up. I've heard my name referenced a few times. <laughs> a few times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, because Aaron. Like, yeah, period. You know me. <laughs> this is, I'll kind of introduce you and you can introduce yourself. This is my sister. She is my middle sister we're of three i've said that several times she is the mommy of all three of us the tallest the t- the, and the tallest <laughs> yes and she just moved here last july and i couldn't be happier it's so good to have like my sister here i can't wait for my other sister to come too and my parents and everybody else everybody just come to houston only them. That's what I meant. Houston sucks. <laughs> Nobody else comes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I got excited and then I forgot what I said last episode. <laughs> Don't come here. <laughs> Go to Dallas. No, literally, Go somewhere else. I've only been here what, since yeah. July. No one else come. Yeah. It if, sucks. If, if y'all it's listen, y'all, y'all heard what Nisa said. She came and she tried it out. Yeah. And- yeah. Okay, Don't well, come. Listen to Nisa. Yeah. See, I, I agree. Yeah, Go see. to New Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Ohio. Oh. They need people. That's where she came from. <laughs> but go ahead and introduce yourself. I, nice to see. I am Erin. I am the middle sister. And follow me on Instagram, Queen Callie Five Eyes. <laughs> she always gonna plug. <laughs> plug. Um, I'm super excited to be here. And thank you guys for having me. You're welcome. Five eyes. Five eyes. I was yeah. about to say five that. eyes, because it's Queen Kelly. Oh. So you gotta get the five eyes. Oh, oh, they was eyes. they was in supernatural yeah. mode. Like yeah, yeah. I was like <laughs> about to throw salt. Right. Yeah. yeah. I saw salt it. immediately. I've heard of the I've heard of the third. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got yeah. Because the eyes do throw you off. Because yeah. when I was like doing our picture thing, I was like, wait. One, two, three. Yeah, it's five eyes. Very five specific. Eyes. Kelly one to pick. made sure not like, to do I, six. Yeah. I think know. that's an old it's code that's in irrelevant. an old Nintendo game. Well, where it's that. like five eyes, G, H, <laughs> high G, low G. <laughs> and then that's how you get to the end boss. Yeah, well, because I am the final the boss. boss. When it comes to my sister, when it comes to my sisters, I am the final boss. Like you don't want, you don't want to get to that level. And our Niece Harper. Oh, Harper. This is Harper's mom. If Harper. Knows. Harper Rose. Us or listens to us. I bring up Harper Rose Thank all you. the time. Thank yeah. you. And Harper Rose. That's she's her a first miracle. name. Yeah, her, yeah. her first name is Harper Rose. We just try to, you know, when you're quick, 
you say Harper, but mm-hmm. her first name's Harper Rose and put some respect on her name. Period. <laughs> when I'm quick, I say, hey! <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch that! <laughs> that's, that's just me. I'm like, Harper Rose! She'd be like, Harper Rose? <laughs> you, She's sis. like, that's a cute name. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, they're both here, and I'm so I feel so blessed to have them. Um, so I am a blessing. I mean, we are a blessing. You're a blessing. Harbor Rose is a bigger one. Um, See what happens when you have kids. Yeah. 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 That's, that's... Bet I won't have no more. <laughs> She's not gonna let you. So good luck. I'm like, you want to have a little sibling? She's like, no. She already knows. No. She's no. not even three years old, you guys. She already knows. She's the like, the answer is no. Yeah. Ill. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They say Harley and Queen. Right. <laughs> and I barely deal when with I them. feel like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How was everybody's week? Is there an order? Or? There's yeah. no order. Well, we usually really. let the, the, the guests go first. Yeah. How okay. was your week? How was your week? My In week summary. was amazing. I have moved to a different position. It was my first week on the floor. And it's been going amazing. My supervisor, glowing recommendations, which I don't normally get in real life. <laughs> but it's been a great week. Um, Harper just amazes me every every single day. She's learning something new every single day. And um, yeah, it's just honestly been a great week. I've been blessed. Praying. Everything's just... Amen. It's been It's been really wonderful so that's good i'm very thankful that's so great yeah that sounds amazing yeah i mean real. if we were talking about like previous weeks you know yeah. I mean, rough, no, but no, this is no. a great no. week we didn't have you so we're we just gonna be thankful <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. gonna be thankful for the good and we're gonna forget about the bad we yes. need to figure out how to put that week in a card <laughs> and sell it right yeah yeah that was a good week mm, my week was Ooh. my week I don't feel like, I mean, I had a great massage today. <laughs> Ew. Worked. Can't think of anything extraordinary. I'm Did playing. they put lotion on your face at the massage or? N- no. Okay. Well, n- no. Okay. No. Okay. Noted. No. <laughs> um, I'm planning my birthday, which is coming up. The big three eight. Um, so that's kind of fun. I don't like planning. Yeah, <laughs> my sister Shut is over here like free eight. I don't look at guys. That's all. <laughs> I literally tell people when they ask me, I'm like, oh, she's thirty six. Like, yeah. Because I mean, I know you're older than me. Yeah. But so I have to be. That's yeah. I mean, you're thirty six. The big three eight. So I'm planning that. Um, I'm going to have my mermaid pool party. I've wanted my whole life. <laughs> oh. There you go. Know, whatever. Anyways, but that's about it. Really nothing. <laughs> Rob, Rob keep doing the brother man tour. The your Martin turn. brother man. Your yeah, turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good week, I think. Um, uneventful. That's always that's the a best good week. week. <laughs> um, had a had a environmental director in town. Made it through that. Me and the guy. Uh, yeah, made it through that. That yeah. was good. And uh, uh-huh. talked to my mentor. I got an awesome mentor that I like talking to. So that happened this week. And uh, other than that, slow boogie. Slow, yeah. slow boogie. A lot of rain in Houston. So, oh my gosh, you know. the rain was <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. Made it. Ew. I was running outside yeah. every day with salt. The, the biggest, <laughs> the biggest event was uh, getting back and forth to work because people forget how to drive <sighs> whenever it rains. So. It's because Houston sucks. And they just shouldn't be here with the rain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How was your week, Kanye? My week was crazy. I witnessed um, a vehicular homicide. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I got pictures of it. Oh! And, um, <gasps> She's gonna call you Uncle Snitch. <laughs> <laughs> the situation. Then he's got the posies pictures I had to take. <laughs> Harper killed Moana. <laughs> there will be no sequel. <laughs> Unfortunately, kids, there will not be. As far as I tried to resuscitate, she was dead on arrival. <laughs> and Rob, Rob is like 
so 2020 right now. Right. Because he's snitching on himself. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. 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 Exactly. I'm, hoping I'm, hoping I'm hoping I get a reprieve by the time they take me to court. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you have to say it to the popo yeah. before right. the internet. <laughs> yeah. Because that's my point. Free Rob. Right? He said, he said Hashtag Mitch, free Rob. He said, we, well, yeah. we will explain this. We'll put it in our picture. No, I'm going to explain it. Harper Rose ran over Moana yeah. with, uh, this is with her Mercedes. She's got a, she's got a G-Wagon, which yeah. none of us have. and um, Not even close. Nobody noticed, but she had somebody on her windshield. And it was <laughs> Moana. Moana was straight up on her hood, yeah. tucked down. Yeah. I said, oh, God. Yeah. I don't Harper know who... Started off at an early age, just running over people. <laughs> but she knew Move, what to do. Bitch. Leave. <laughs> Leave the scene. Yeah. That's why she was so anxious to get out the she house. She's like, hey, go, bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, gotta go. She did not peel the decals off of the G-Wagon. No, I got it. I, I she failed. Did. She I failed. Did. All identification got to be gone. because she knew we were here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll post a picture of that so <laughs> listeners will understand. And one of the pictures is Rob hiding the body. Right? Oh! Yeah. 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 You know, we're all being tracked yeah. on yeah. the phones and our vaccines. So. My phone was stolen. I have no recollection of any of this information. Throw it in the pool. Throw it in the pool. <laughs> the scary part is the doll ended up in the driver's seat of said car yeah. and coming after Harper. Yeah. So that's another I, I, I'm supernatural just, story. Right. right. <laughs> Investigations need to be done. <laughs> Dean. It knock, wasn't knock. Her. It wasn't her. Hey, Dean. <laughs> hey, Dean. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Jensen Ackles, we like you. So and this is... likes you a lot more, I guess. Love you. Yeah. Episode yes. 17, <laughs> and the title, our topic of this episode is... A throwback. A throwback. <laughs> a, a, a part, a round two. Round two. A dear semi-sober ones. <laughs> Dear semi-sober ones, before you lose the semi <laughs> and the sober. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're kind of sober. I'm I'm not. Oh. Yeah. Well, you just got here. I'm semi. You just got here. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. She's like Capri Sun. Harbor went night night. And <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so if you haven't listened to the first one, you should, because it's pretty great. Um, This is our round two. We are now a four-part giving advice to advice questions that people ask. And I feel like this is going to be hilarious. But we have to keep our answers kind of brief, because I feel like we can go on on just one question, because I got some good ones. Have to keep them kind of what? Brief, Brief, because okay. I feel like I, listening to the last episode yeah. to prepare for this one, I was like talking for at least fifteen. Minutes. <laughs> like, wait a minute, Bob, Bob, yeah. look, yeah. Sir. yeah, and some of these questions came from overseas, so if the language is a little okay. off, okay, my. Might if I well, I'm not going to do an accent. Oh. Yeah, you do, these, do these do these people though? do these <laughs> do these people have names or are we naming? Well, you yeah. named them. Yeah, okay. I never gave names. Yeah, you named them. No, the and I'm like, time. what did no, they? It's, let it's, me it's, rewind. It's, 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 it's better to <laughs> yeah. So make it more we'll personal. Let's go with your names, okay. Tequila. Um, here we go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Question one. There are two children that live across the street from us, age six and nine-ish, uh. who have serious boundary issues. Mm. They walk into our house without knocking. Mm. <laughs> it's hard for me to read this because I'm like, what? <laughs> Ring the doorbell during the day when my husband is sleeping, ask us for food and drinks, or just help themselves without asking, and ask my kids to give them their toys or money. We are very firm with them, always telling them this is not your house, you have to knock, or you can't have our dinner. We are firm, but they are willful and resistant. It's a constant battle. Her her name is Becky. Okay. Thank you. That was the name I was coming up with. First of all, Becky, you were having conversations with a six, did you say six and seven? Six and nine-ish. Nine-ish? I mean... Are are you are you are we serious here? 
where are their parents? Because I'm trying to figure out, do they pay the mortgage across the street? I mean, you're literally <laughs> letting a six and nine year old run your household, and then you're having conversations. You're being firm that with the six and nine year old. That aren't your kids. Like, like <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we all talk on yeah. the advice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was confused with the question. Yeah, I'm perplexed, because what are you asking? Like, there's so many different areas we could go here. Like, are we asking why you're so stupid or are we <laughs> judging the are we judging the like because it's really fallen all back on you i think i think she's confused mm, mm-hmm. because she said these kids have boundary issues mm-hmm. the she, kids. she got the boundary issues mm. and she Hello. don't know how to yeah. set them right mm-hmm. she expect these kids to set boundaries that six to nine ish Mm-hmm. But she needs to set them up. <laughs> and it kind of threw me off yeah. that she had kids. I thought she didn't have kids. Right? They're stealing your kids' toys and money. They drop. They not kid. They not oh, stealing. They're not they, even kids. Have you guys seen that movie? We watched that movie. They not yeah. stealing. They asking the one. The orphan. They punk. They punking the kids. Do you Thank guys you. remember that movie, yeah. The Orphan, yes. where yeah. the girl was not a kid? She turned out to be like a thirty-year-old woman. <laughs> That's what I think those kids are. Those are the parents. That doesn't make sense. You're gonna come and punk. My kids and my house. But have we also groceries? addressed where where is your your husband sleep Parking at some kids. point? Yeah. But he, I mean, well, she said they're taking the kids. They parking the kids. Pumping. They parking Becky and they parking the daddy. Yeah, they parking the whole is house. Dad, I don't know who the yeah. I she just, said the dad sleep. And they ring the doorbell. Yo, now I don't play sleep, about yeah. my sleep. Well, he need to you, answer the door, butt ass naked. <laughs> No, so he's gonna go there. <laughs> you're gonna get a charge. Yeah, you're, I was gonna say. He's gonna get a charge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I take that charge. I don't trust yeah. those two children. That. I don't know. If that's children. not a charge. Yeah. See, y'all. I don't know if they're children. Yeah. That's my like house, and, and they ran up in my stuff. Yeah, I, they scared I me. I they're thugs. They're yeah. thugs yeah. ruining the community. Yeah. Mm. Becky. <laughs> Sit With down. five eyes. Sit, sit, go on, sit down, Becky. And lock your door yeah. before you go sound. And, and quit making First problems. Off. Quit making problems for and yourself. And worry about how to talk yeah. to your own children because yeah. they're clearly letting them in. I don't. I don't know, know what. I don't know what. Else. I don't know what That's state you. I don't know what right? state you like, live in. But in the state of Texas, you got a right to protect your property. Yeah. Um. You, I ain't telling you to hurt these kids, but I am. You come in my house, kicking your ass. Well, I'm I, don't, kick I don't know what I don't know what works. I would now kick. I would kick their ass. Yeah. My house, I'm not even yeah. looking, and that doesn't. Because Harper so. would never, <laughs> would never. <laughs> and you need to beat your kids' ass. Yeah. If they giving and them kids money and she toys, she needs to beat her own ass. What, really? Yeah. Because you're being a terrible mother. Sorry, I'm not mom judging, but yeah. come on now. I that, am. Why is that a question? Why is that even? A yeah, why? Why, why is you that? feel comfortable writing that? Yeah. You should yeah. feel embarrassed. Yeah. Walk your ass across the street and ask that question. Exactly. Yeah. Now, yeah. the girl's not judging, but her sister. I'm judging you, sis. <laughs> and if you, if you need me, follow me on Instagram. Shoot me a message. I, I'll I, get I, it all regulated. Five eyes. Five eyes. I I I I, 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 I bought the uh, knife. Are we ready for question two? <laughs> what do you say? Go to child. I, I, I want the child. What is this? Oh, shit. Eddie Murphy. Oh, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like it. Go to child. You're oh, I've never seen that. Yeah. All right. I, 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 <laughs> what you got to say, Rock? Me? Nothing I mean, for Becky. basically oh. said the same. I mean, <laughs> door, doors are locked. Okay, we don't necessarily have a doorbell, but we got a ring. So that chick can be muted. Excuse my language. That can be muted. So First of all, I'm not ring. doing any of this for children. You don't need to. Children. Period. I don't care if we have a whole alarm, d- d- yeah. whatever. I don't know. Yeah. No, I was just yeah. saying, I agreed with y'all. That's why I didn't jump well, in. Okay. No. Walking in the house, He was bro. like, you hit every, yeah. every yeah. point. I mean, pretty much. Like, I'm going to talk to the parents. Be like, man, you're a little scrum little... <laughs> Your kids he come, called them a scrum bum. Little kids coming over. I'm like, your little, your little crotch nuggets <laughs> are know. going yeah. crazy. Your little butt nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Are coming over. The parents come to talk. High five. Yeah. High, high five. Messing with my children. We, lo- the we, par- love, the, the we love the kids here. The parents come to talk to me. I don't mind children. We don't like bad kids. Your baby's kids only move over. Not baby's kids. The parents come to talk to me once they kids get home. Before we move on, you guys. man across the street, he. Crazy. You guys saw, or, yeah. well, okay. 
And so the guys naked. aren't social media. <laughs> another another pistol. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> the guys aren't social media like us, like into social media like us. But I know you saw the clip with Kim letting Courtney know about her kids. Like, I'm not going to fire my nanny because your kids are bad. I did not. I don't follow any of them, but I did see I didn't it either. pop up on um, Two Fab or something. I don't know some website where it said your nanny was disrespectful to me or something. I didn't. Okay. So I used to be a super huge Kim Kardashian fan. Fell off, but this particular scene, if we just negated who it was, oh, there's a whole scene of it. It's like oh, okay. it's like quick clips because it's basically okay. like your kids are bad AF, and yeah. so apparently really quick summary was Courtney, her sister got into it with Kim's nanny because Kim's nanny was basically like, Courtney, your kids are bad AF. But what happened was the kid said something, Courtney comments and she's like, he's lying. He's lying. And Courtney like went off. So they have this whole discussion and Kim's like, I don't fire. She thinks kids don't lie or something. She thinks her kids are like, Um, just it and so kim's like well i'm not firing her because essentially i believe her and i keep my staff on and she's like you know whatever you said made her feel like she was gonna get fired she felt degraded and that's just not acceptable so courtney what i'm getting to is courtney's like she'll never be around my kids and kim said you can't even keep a nanny this sounds like rich people problems. Yeah, yeah. Raise your own fucking kids. But I mean, I'm just saying, like you, you know what I mean. Yeah, then like, you get mad when people you tell you about your kids because you, you're not people, raising them, your mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you have your own parenting <laughs> thing. Yeah. But realistically, I mean, you don't have to have kids to know that kids, whether they understand lying or whatever, they lie. Oh, now, kids lie. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's like period. A bunch of butt nuggets. When it oh. comes, <laughs> when it comes back to Becky, <laughs> yeah, you need to address the parent. You need to stand your ground, and that's what I was getting with the clip. Like Kim's, like, no, bro, like, you know, I'm tired of Becky and the Kardashians. Okay, next yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I you. Yeah. I hate the both. I Becky, don't. Becky I don't. <laughs> All right. This sounds ridiculous, Mm. but I had to put this here. My husband and I got a new puppy when she was about 10 months old. She likes sleeping on the bed with us, but sometimes jumps off and goes into her crate to sleep. My husband is crazy about her and loves it when she sleeps in the bed. Unfortunately, she leaks urine in the bed. Speaking of, (laughs) and Quinn comes in on cue to drink water. Thank you, Quinn. Soaking through the sheets and mattress pad, and I am now continuously washing bed linen. It smells terrible. I washed everything yesterday, and this morning, he wanted her in the bed, and it was soaked and stained. My husband says I'm being too picky about things in the house. Am I crazy that I don't want to sleep with the smell of this dog peeing in our bed? Or should she be crated at night? This is Debbie. (laughs) Why is that a question? Debbie, <laughs> let me talk to you very clearly right now. And I get in a debate with this all the time. Oh, you don't want your dog sleeping in the bed? It's not healthy, first of all, for them. Because when they get older and they can't get in your bed, yes, you can pick them up and put them in there. Let's just hypothetically say that. But at the end of the day, they need their dogs need their own dem- uh, domain. domain. Excuse me, Their own domain. That's just logical. That's, you can ask any vet. They like to actually have their own space usually because you might kick the dog off the bed at the end and in the middle of the night. Or they might kick you. Or whatever. (laughs) And the pee thing, that, oh my God. And then they're in the yard picking up stuff on their paws. You got it all in your face and and people. I didn't even think of that. I think Debbie and Becky are neighbors. I think Debbie and the kids, the kids are gone and she's worrying about the puppy. I I agree. Yeah. I'm not trying to be cold-hearted by any means because, like I said, back in the day, I had dogs. They, I, I'm actually a big fan of rescuing. I usually always have rescue dogs. Yeah. I, all most of them, yeah. Well, ours are all rescued. I only had one dog that I okay. got. But anyways, but long story short, um, they usually tend to appreciate being by the bed. And nowadays, they got pillows that are better than our bed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, some of these pillows we get these dogs. I'm like, I laid on one of them and took a nap one day because I was like, oh, oh, shit, this is better. Than I just this. feel like if that's even an issue in your relationship, that's weird. It's yeah. weird too because, because that why? means you're not. Sorry to be crass. That means you're not fucking. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I don't want most parents of actual kids don't want their kid in the bed. Sure don't. And why would you want a dog in the bed? I don't get it. And I love the you shit the out of my dogs. On the head I love my dogs with what you just so said. So damn much. Yeah. About the And then the, your man is the one who wants the dog in the bed. Okay. But you hit, the, <laughs> you hit you kinda hit also what I was get, gonna get at and you you well, did. Well you that said for long me. story short. And it wasn't short. Well, <laughs> but I, because I could have made it longer on that fact, too. The fact of the matter is I'm not having sex with you, excuse me, uh, or intimate with you with a dog in the bed. Ew. I'm no, sorry. Ew. That's my point. I don't even like, so, you know, like some dogs. Dude, I'm not sleeping in the bed after a fucking dog pissed in it. Yeah. How you, gonna, <laughs> you can't clean that shit up. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah, stupid. That's a smell. Yeah, like you've got to get rid of a whole mattress. If you're a dog yeah. owner. And animal, I mean, I don't yeah. know cats. You've had cats. Cats worse. are the worst. worst. They're okay. way well, worse. Well, I was just thinking well, hold of pets the phone. in the yeah. home. I've never had a cat. Hold the phone. At the point that the dog keeps keeps on urinating in said bed, mm-hmm. that's going to go under the mattress. You'll never get rid of that. You, yeah. yeah. I mean, if, if the dog... And, before, the mattress, the dog and out, before this podcast what? started, we were talking about how much mattresses yeah. cost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the dog but got there, one chance to pee in my bed. Yeah. 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 But the, the yeah. thing yeah. is, you can get your mattress clean, but baby, it's going to cost way yeah. more than yeah. the dog cost. Yeah. 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 Because, and but then you can't sleep on it for hours. Like, it's just... You and your man funky. Yeah, they, they, they nasty. Yeah, that's, y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. Your house is nasty. Your man's nasty. Yeah, if you the dog like nasty. You have to cuddle with your animal Before more your than whoever your spouse, person is, woman, your spouse, whoever, woman, man, whatever. Yeah, whatever may that's be. kind of a problem. Yeah, that's, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I, that's I what I feel like. Your yes. man, your man having little boy issues. Mm-hmm. Um, he. Sorry, Debbie. Yeah. You need to have a therapist. Yeah. Talk, yeah. <laughs> Therapy is very important. Go go let them sleep on one of those awesome Let, Let's I'll give a disclaimer them. before we move forward. Um, What's our disclaimer? Going off these questions, the first two questions. Um, your your problems are not, you know, they kind of isolated issues. Yeah. You're asking these questions like they common and everybody right, yeah. deal with this kind of yeah. shit. This shit is not common. You know right? what I'm saying? So, like, you didn't ask any of your friends before <laughs> yeah, you sent that real. question? That's what, what I think when on? I see questions, too. Yeah. Like, so you don't yeah. have any friends. Yeah. Okay. Or, Noted. Or her or, friends. Yeah. Or Becky and Debbie don't have friends that they want to listen to. Yeah. yeah that's you know, yeah. those where it's like, you didn't give me the answer I wanted. So and we let said me that, ask You're judgmental. Yeah. <laughs> we said that on the first, on one yeah. of our first episodes. The big, one of my biggest pet peeves is somebody asking me something, and I, you know, tell them, "Hey, this is my feelings, whatever it may be," and they, they just completely do the opposite. <laughs> yeah. And then ask and you then how to fix like, what they did why, the opposite to. <laughs> why am I divorced? <laughs> All right, here's one. Ready? Yeah. Mm. I call this nosy people. <laughs> All right, my close friend, a 28 year old man, married a wonderful guy three years ago. They were both very fit. The husband is still fit. But my friend has gained a shocking amount of weight. I'm talking like 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. I am really concerned for his health. When I mentioned my worry to his husband, he patted my friend's huge belly and said, more of him to love. Should I let this go or try to find out what's going on? Mind your business. Bitch! Seriously. I I was going to say, that was my first response. Her her name is Linda. Her name is Linda. 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 There's a theme if you're not catching these names. Why do you hear but Linda, why are you touching on his belly in the first place? No, no the, the husband. husband. Oh. She brought it up not even to her friend because oh, they're okay. such good yeah. friends. Oh, okay. She d- she doesn't know she should bring it up to her friend. She brought it up to the husband. Yeah. It sounds like you like your friend. Yeah, you mad. Uh-huh. And that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. You like your friend. You mm-hmm. didn't like that he turned out to not want anything that you were offering. Yeah. yeah. And you're trying to... Start something. Hey, Linda. Hey, 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 Linda. Um, on, on top of on top of minding your business, I'm kind of old school, and I was told as a youngster, you know, when you're hitting it right, the ass start getting fat. So 
the husband must be hitting it right. So mind your fucking yeah, business. Yeah, I've heard that. They're like all neighbors. Yeah, I think they live all in the same community. Yeah. That mean that mean your best friend is getting it the right he's supposed to, the way he's supposed to be getting it. So don't hate. Don't hate don't hate the game. I don't know if you heard don't this. Don't hate the player, hate the game. This yeah. new song uh, Miss uh, Girls listening to called uh, Slumber Party. Demi Devil, shout out. Slumber Party. Love that song. Love I've it. heard it. You heard it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mind your business. <laughs> okay, I'm going to yeah. throw in one that wasn't for my homework that's popped up from 97.9 The Box, okay. Houston. Right, They're time. throwing out, I guess people were asking them questions and I just thought this was pretty funny. It says, my best friend's girl and I work together. Yesterday, I busted her cheating with my boss. I got to tell my bro, but I'm afraid I'm going to get fired. What should I do? Now, read that again. I'm sorry. My best friend's girl. Okay. And I work together. Okay. Okay. Yesterday, I busted her cheating with my boss. Yeah. I have to tell my bro. That's what he thinks. Yeah. But I'm afraid I'll get fired. What should I do? His name is Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. 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 Jimothy. Yeah. Jimothy. <laughs> Jimothy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Mind your business again. I mean, I don't know, man. But that's his best friend. That's his best friend. For real. You have to, I feel like, because I agree with you. Nine times out of ten, I'm like, mind your business. But it depends on what's more important to you. Like, is this job something that is, like, supporting your livelihood? Like, is this a career? You're right. I need to know context (laughs) behind that. Because if I'm just at, like, Like, a little joint I can go replace, I'm going to tell my boy. but, But look, me and Rob best friends the Aww. nail work with me <laughs> how good friend, how, how, me and him are friends how good of friends are we or how good is that relationship if she messed with the boss and she know I work there but I feel like no nah, I mean for real dude that's not your best friend or the girl just don't give a fuck so but see I feel like me and you when I listen to the podcast and we just talk in general, I feel like our vibes and our views are so similar for me. Cause I'm all about loyalty. You know what I mean? So for me, it's like, if I'm in my dream, like career, whatever that may be, that includes my best friend's yeah. person. Is this going to affect my, you know, my livelihood? Because I look at it as I could be blacklisted from, you know, the yeah. industry or yeah. anything just to tell my friend or on the hindsight, is loyalty more important than your livelihood? Because yeah. if it's like I'm gonna feel more at peace telling my, per- you know, my friend, yeah. this is what's going on, and I'll deal with my finances, my, you know, whatever later. I'm gonna tell my friend. I feel like we need more context. Yeah, you need more content. This is just like a yeah. little, a low yeah. level yeah. job. Yeah. You need more I don't content. care. But here's you thing. need a lot more content. A yeah. lot, yeah. a lot. I'm reaching more towards the side personally, as telling my friend, and just because. There's been people that have done sacrifices in their lives to be a loyal person that in the long run, it works out better for them. Yeah, karma I can, doesn't Yeah, I can agree with that so, too. Yeah, for that's, sure, for but, sure. But that's just me. I'm going to tell my friend. <laughs> but I'm going to tell him. No, no, I'm going to tell But it's like we said, we need more context. No, yeah, yeah. How is your friend? Yeah. Because yeah, you, you tell your friend that they handle you in a way that's not going to impact your job. You also need to think about there you go. Yeah, your but, friend. Like, yeah. you know your friends. So you know how to present it to them where, look, we're going to catch these motherfuckers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going yeah, yeah. re- <laughs> to be real strategic yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, for me, if this was just me and someone told me, I'm more like a... I'm looking out for my friend, my sister, yeah. whatever. So I'm going to go. What's me? No, I'm saying. Yeah. No, I, no, I'm saying. Like, <laughs> yeah. if, no, I'm talking about if I was on the, like, should you tell me or not tell me, if... You know, my sister and my friend told me, I'm thinking these things that I just said, like, is this going to impact their life? Like, how can I go about it? Because it could be as simple as, boom, peep yeah. it. Now I know, let me hop in her Instagram. Let me hop, you know, let me hop in their Snapchat. Yeah. Let me hop, you know, Do so that I can build this on my yeah. own because so it doesn't even you, impact especially you. Especially if you just caught them and then all of a sudden the yeah. friend's like, at the job going, Rah! yeah, you know, they're gonna know it's you. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna be yeah, real yeah. strategic. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm holler at her, you know what I'm saying? 
It's come yeah, on. Yeah, but she's going to gonna try to X you out. She, <laughs> right. Go, go and for start it. playing on yeah, other I'm things. I'm going to talk to the boss. It's called, for me, it's called Game On. I'm like, that's, you, know, that's, 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 you know that's my boy girl, right? It's kind of like the Moana yeah. situation. <laughs> Not yeah. Moana. Can you stop bringing up Snitchy Steve? Yeah. Damn, yeah. Snitchy Steve. I'm about, to call, I'm about to call my baby. She has to go. <laughs> right. but, the, but the thing is, though. We got our bail thing. <laughs> either, either your best friend, girlfriend, think you a dumbass and just lame. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, that relationship ain't what you think it is for her to be fucking with the boss and she know you work there. And it's it's just a hard situation too, because like you just said, because you could bring it up and they're like, "I've had my suspicions," yeah, or that it could completely catch them off guard, or they can just because some people are like denial or yeah, yeah they're so their person yeah. like, oh, you're crazy. Don't bring it up and still stay with that person, and yeah. then you're Literally. the enemy. Yeah, the best friend enemy, might say the, the best friend might say, "Man, you need to mind your business. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, on that yeah, bullshit." Yeah, yeah. 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 Then you yeah. can't hang out with your friend then, no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you don't got your job. Yeah, you don't got nothing. But that goes that goes back. Back to what I was saying about the thing about not taking my advice or whatever. So yeah, I mean it is a sketchy situation. Bring it up to them. You got to know your friend. If they're logical, they'll be like, okay, I got that. Yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Exactly. Let's get our PowerPoint presentation. Because like, together. if you bring it to me, it's like, boom, I'm gonna check. Like, I'm gonna build a whole case and not include you at all. And in that case, I'm going to uncover you're sleeping with this boss, and I don't even have to include my friend at all. Now, you may say something. And it's like, oh, so he. Knew, I'm gonna play like, like oh, I you didn't even shit. tell me. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna act like I'm angry with a friend, you know, even though the friend told me. I ain't see shit. But for, uh, I don't owe you phone. anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it also, I think it really boils down to though knowing your friend, like yeah. how they're going to address it. Because like the girl, my sister said, they could show up and just like blow the whole spot up. Yeah. Or they could be strategic. So. Yeah. I'm gonna be strategic about. It. I'm gonna be mad at the motherfucker though, just because I got to deal with that shit. Right, you had an uneventful week, and yeah. here comes here comes bullshit. Saturday. Yeah, and here, here comes somebody to me some yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. You had a situation like that one time. You don't remember? Oh, yeah. several times. Yeah. Well, we're not going. We not I didn't say yeah. We're not going at nobody. Yeah, yeah. right. No, no. <laughs> mind your business. I <laughs> know who they are. I minded my business. Yeah. Yeah. Period. That's what she did. She minded. I said something to my friend. And that was that. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. My boyfriend has a habit of using birthdays and holidays. That has to be a British person. Holidays. As an opportuni- opportunity to upgrade his lifestyle under the guise of generous gift giving. He recently gifted me his used laptop, which he did spend money on getting it cleaned up for Christmas. After buying himself... The latest upgraded laptop. My last birthday, he gave me his used scuba gear and took that opportunity to upgrade his own set. (laughs) Did you just... (laughs) The thing is, I'm not even a big diver and my current laptop is perfectly adequate and better suited for my needs. However, he gets upset if I politely decline. So these presents are really just taking up closet space. Am I an ungrateful person or am I justified in feeling a bit stuck in ungrateful recipient position? Her name is Kimberly. Okay, Kimberly. Kimberly. Kimberly, if you don't like the shit, tell them. You know what I'm saying? Call them out on it. I mean, I don't want to use hand me down that shit. And then um Just I don't even dive. Like- I don't even dive. Why you buy me some give me some used diving shit and I don't die. Thank mm-hmm. you. I appreciate the but it's bullshit. And not only he, telling he cheap this, as fuck. We need to also address the fact have that a garage he, sale and get rid of he's this. He's obviously. I feel like all of these questions are connected because he's <laughs> obviously giving the thoughtful gifts to his to himself. <laughs> he's he's, he's yeah. look. He's the boss. Yeah. With the other girl. Yeah. The last question. Honestly, don't even give me anything. Yeah, for real. Like, if you just want to upgrade, go ahead and upgrade yeah. you. And then if I want it, I'll say. Thank yeah. you. And why is this like a, a birthday present? Like, I feel like you can just give somebody something just off, you know, off yeah. some, like GP, like here. Yeah. I just thought, yeah. you know, maybe you could use this. And then on the birthdays or whatever, especially give them something else. Yeah, like, but, for instance, like, I don't, I'm not a big iPad person. Um, I don't use it unless I'm playing, like, 
Wheel of Fortune. Karaoke. Clue. Karaoke. Oh, no. I don't need it for... Oh, I do use it for karaoke. Right. Yeah. 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 That's oh, the only time I, I see you use it. You're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or heads up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That game. But Rob uses his iPad. Yeah. When he needs to upgrade because he uses it for more things, I'll take his. But don't you put a fucking bow on it. I, <laughs> and that, and don't that give it to sense. me on June like, 6th. Yeah. Like, yeah. don't even. That's, that's so rude. Yeah. <laughs> like, and like, I like that. Like he, I like that. Like, you're clean. super yeah. into yeah. Yeah. your so iPad. You get, get a lot of use yeah. out of it. And then it's like, I'm going to upgrade. And it's like, why sell it or you know yeah, and, you it know and, and then just upgrade the card yeah, yeah i think I, like i think that like that makes sense that's the that's the Your idea boyfriend sounds like a douchebag what was her name yeah kimberly kimberly, kimberly. Yeah, a cheap he douchebag sounds like a douchebag <laughs> Capital yeah. raw sale. Yeah. and what? and can we just really quick before you say rob what you were going to say can we talk about these questions all like the common denominators communication like yeah. no one's yeah. communicating yeah. Right. properly, right? The right. right. At the right like time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're asking. I don't know where this was, you know, posted or asked, but you're asking wherever it was, strangers or a stranger. If you, you know, put this in the vice column, there's something wrong. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just gonna say it. I don't know how this is gonna play out. You don't have any like black friends. Because I feel like a black friend is going to tell you that. Like me as a friend, it's like sis. Yeah, For I one, see. give me that because yeah. I'll sell it. Yeah. And two, talk to your man. Yeah. <laughs> That's not even a black friend because Cognac over here was like, take it. Yeah. He Look, said, he's like running the numbers. When you, said, when you said it, he was like. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's what Period. I was going to say. Period. Brother in law, yes. I was going to say, okay, thank you. I'm going to be on eBay or whatever yeah, the next thing. Yeah, that shit. Right. Okay. And with that. Oh, go ahead. I'm no, sorry. I'm so sorry. I was going to say that part of it. But the other part of it, it's like, with us, it's a we, It's different because we get, a stuff, we get stuff for each other all year round. Yeah, so yeah, like, for sure. It's not, you know. Right, yeah. I don't need a, I don't yeah. need a gift on a birthday, but don't give me some hoe shit on yeah. a birthday either. You're really, yeah, you're really good about that yeah, too. I don't, yeah. I don't care. Like, because you know, my don't. sister, she's like top notch gift giver, <laughs> oh, but I feel I like I don't want that title. It's, no, no, <laughs> she the is, is. But you the think purse, the purse might not be in season <laughs> for her birthday? No, but it's... so she needs it before her birthday. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how her like you receiving gifts giving. for other people. You don't people, know because your name's on it. But, but you don't we pick the literally gifts. have like like me, my mom, me and my sister. Like we we talk. My little the little sister. We talk about like not only she can literally get you socks. But the thought behind it, because she'll reference it, like, you said this three years ago, and, like, how much you love this show, and I found, like, so I appreciate that she also realized, like, for me, the gift may not be, like, super expensive, but I take that, too, like, something that's thoughtful to her. And she's not a, like, yeah, she's not a, you could give her a candle, but if you can reference it to something like, you know, for real, that like literally means something. Vanilla or clean smelling, please. Thank you. Well, my birthday's <laughs> yeah. coming up. I don't want to bring, I mean, bring, everybody. bring me a fucking patchouli. But I'm just saying, I don't want like, a patchouli you candle. Can, you can, <laughs> uh, 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 but yeah. you could literally, like I'm saying, you can get like, you know, minus the price, but you could go get a vanilla candle that's 99 cents. But if you, if you, you don't even have to say it. She knows because you know that she likes that or you can tie it into a memory. She likes it. I'm appreciative. I'm not. Kimberly. I'm just kidding. I am. I love everything. <laughs> Give me gift certificates. Tell, <laughs> tell them to get, stop giving you stuff that already belong to you. Kimberly, you guys are probably broken up ooh, by the time we answer point. this question. Yeah. What was Kimberly w- was is probably his? broken up with Bobby yeah, yeah, by the time yeah. this question yeah. is answered. She's broken up yeah. with Jimothy. <laughs> and get a, get a life while you're at it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Find a black okay. woman. Here's one. Here's, here's a good one. Probably for Kanye. It's like, oh, shit. I have, a really, I have really nice neighbors, and we're always pleasant to each other. We put up a large above-ground pool in our backyard. First problem. No, I didn't want to. I was not being. Okay. No, I'm joking. And okay. they put up a trampoline. Mm. I would like to enjoy our pool. How to put this delicately. 
without tan lines. She likes to lay out but naked. naked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to offend them or expose myself to their teenage son when he's jumping on the trampoline. Why is he jumping to see you? He's jumping to see you. I'm reading it like he wants, you to, jump, he wants you to yeah. jump on the trampoline. That's is there a task? So tactful way to ask them to move the trampoline since there is no other way to stay discreet in my own backyard. Build a taller fence. Who pays the mortgage the on your property, Home baby? association. R- rule that fence. Really? Hell yeah. yeah. Well, we don't I'm just that. like, yeah. it's my backyard. I'm being naked. So what yeah. you want to do? Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> because you might have somebody who's like, you know what? Maybe we can, you know, put some trees up. Or, yeah. No, I paid the mortgage. I paid the mortgage. What you see in yeah. your... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Go what ahead. you see when you jump on your trampoline in your yard, that's your business. I pay mortgage here. Like, am I tripping? It's like I pay mortgage here. So until it becomes an HOA problem... Which I feel like I'm gonna get an attorney. Well, that little yeah. horny little that's, boy be running out every time can, she lays out. That's there. what I'm saying. He's like, she normally does it at, at eight o'clock p.m. Right? I'm gonna go jump on this trampoline. He got to sit on his I, I, iPhone. Whatever. I feel like you can't regulate. You don't want anyone to regulate what's going on yours. And I respect being a, a respectful neighbor. Yeah. But you can't go tell them what to do in their yard. Right. And until it becomes a problem, sis, be naked. Get your tan lines together. The, it, I mean, she's just tripping, man. What's her name? I missed it. Did you say her name? Her, I think her June. 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 June can be her name. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, thinking of the June. Okay. Um, June. All the summertime June. June. Just, <laughs> right. That that little dude don't give two fucks about June and what she's doing in her backyard. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, okay. She won't. Well, she won't. She won't them to know. I just mm-hmm. not, not, yes. kind of my vibe. No, I would yeah, like, she wants them to know that I'm she she you don't want have to lay. To be in yeah, the pool to get a tan. Yeah, line. she because wants them to know. You don't need a pool. On your back you don't, need, don't, a pool. You you don't need a pool to do that. The sun is the sun. Yeah. But Fast. like I said before, <laughs> yeah. but I said before that I said the teenager. He's he's like 12, 35 June coming out oh. because that is cognac as a teenager. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that really gives a fuck. Cognac is ready. He's like. Yo, he's got the homies over. Everybody's yeah. going to jump on. How old is this teenager? Like, yeah. are we talking 13 yes. Yes. Dad, yes. or 19? Dad. Right. Yeah. Dad, <laughs> because at 19, that's not your problem. At 13, it is a problem. Yeah. And Dad, it's yeah. too hot outside. Can't we build a second story with a window? And it's still <laughs> communication because yeah. you don't have to go over there and tell them to move their trampoline. You can yeah. just be like, hey, I'm feeling worried Sometimes because this I is what still, I like to I do still, in yeah. my yard. Can we, like, figure out something? Because I just don't want to. And white people because i feel like we're not wor- we're not worried about tan lines i'd be under an umbrella when i'm out at the beach well, or out at the i pool. put a whole towel over my man but exactly. i'm just saying like you're worried about tan lines right so you're fair skin you know whatever yeah you know whatever <clears throat> She wants so somebody like to look at her june you like the attention yeah, you want the and attention I hope the teenager you're talking about is 18 and 19 yeah um, and he probably saying, "I don't want to look life. at that old ass lady." Get a life. I mean, yeah. Nah, cause I mean, I'm just saying. Well, I disagree. I, mean, I, mean, I know some badass yeah, old ass ladies. Say, yeah, well, I'm just yeah. saying, not doing no shit like she doing. Okay, I got a new one. <laughs> I got a new one. Mm-hmm. Let us know her name. Yeah. My husband of 20 years uh. smokes pot every day, and I hate it. I have always hated the idea of smoking anything, cigarettes or pot. Lately, because of the pandemic, his pot use has ramped up and now the house smells like weed. I've told him that I don't like being surrounded by the smell of marijuana inside our house. He says I'm hung up on the stigma of it. Maybe so, but he has always known I am not okay with this. For a long time, he hid his pot use from me and was not doing it at home. But now he works from home because of the pandemic, so I'm bombarded with it now. Am I overreacting or being judgmental? I don't think so. What do you think? Rachel. You know, first of all, oh. Yeah. Oh, is that her name? Rachel? Rachel, Rachel yeah. doesn't even want an answer. Yeah, she Rachel. Said, I don't think so. What Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, it, shut the fuck up. Um, God damn. Yeah. 20 years ago, you should have made that decision. You should have made that decision 20 fucking years ago. If You know what I'm saying? Pot's pot. Yeah. It didn't change. Yeah. And it's actually more legal now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, God damn. There's no hand raising, Kanye. Just speak. No. <laughs> I know. It. I, yeah, no, I was about to say I started it. I didn't know the, like, yeah. rules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Having my back. Yeah. So, anyways, um, 
<laughs> I'm laughing at the thought of him working from his computer. What's his job? Like he's like, yeah. So I think the <clears throat> the percentages. <laughs> but that's not how it is. No, I know. I I literally joking, feel like but... people not smoking pot are the rare breed. Yeah. At this point, I am. Life. I was the plug for the clean the clean pee in Ohio. Like oh. it's so normal. Oh I, I oh, can you get a job for that? No, I was getting paid. Like, That's what I'm saying. Because I could clean. I mean, I, I don't think I could get a PPP <laughs> loan for it. Like I'm available. Right, anybody. me too. Sure. No, like people will lit. Like all jokes aside, like literally. And I wasn't. It was more people. You guys. I mean, you guys know me, but I don't talk to a lot of people. But everyone that I talked to, they smoked, and you know, they'd go for like higher positions. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or whatever the case was. Still available. Yeah. So it became like, you know, Ro, I, oh. that's my girl. <clears throat> no one knows what her real name is. Though. <laughs> but, um, you know, her, like, that's off some just GP. Like, that's my girl. I love you. I got you. But then when people started questioning her, she hits me up. Like, is it cool? Like, can I tell them? And I'm yeah. like, yeah, but tell them it's a cost because those aren't my people, you know? Yeah. So you come. It's forty. It's forty. Period. How much do you want this job? Oh my god! Yeah. I'll do fifty. Okay. To do what again? So look who's about to get all the business. <laughs> now what you do with it They're after, like how say, you pass, yeah. whatever. That's your problem. I just know just I'm kidding. all the way clean. I'm not gonna give out my DNA for. I will. Right? Mm, I don't care. <laughs> like I had a guy who did it, and I was like, "Are you sure? Because I feel like they can like." Test, like that's female, yeah. you know, and he's like, as long as you're Can not you pregnant, like getting a call from a friend, I'd be like, yeah, you you, you peed clean, but let me tell you, you were dying in a month. Oh shit! <laughs> well, you're, you're thank you. I still got paid. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me go spend that forty. Huh. <laughs> do do, do, do you need some more? Right? They won't, they Are you calling because you need like, some more? Right? Yeah. Oh, what was her name? I forgot what her name was. Um, I did too. Yeah, I forgot. Just name her again. But anyways. Um, but hold on, no, here's the thing. We they couldn't hire me because they thought I was dying in a month. I know, but I'm trying to answer <laughs> this just... poor woman's question. I don't feel like she's a poor woman. I yeah. feel like this is so stupid. Yeah. He knew he was a pothead, but it was okay when he wasn't sitting in the house. Yeah. But I also think he's being disrespectful when he knows you don't like the smell. So yeah. If anything, he should just go outside and smoke it. Like, that's cigarettes yeah. or anything else. Just be but, respectful about it. You're not into it, whatever. Yeah, it should be a compromise. You know, like, a peaceful com- but compromise. He's, he could, smokes pot. It yeah. could that's be. It. But he and he's been doing it for the last 20 years. Yeah, I yeah. have friends that smoke pot. They know I don't. They know, to you go know, outside or yeah, go outside, go in your car, whatever. I don't yeah. care. That's teach your own. And it's becoming more legal. But I just don't like the smell of it. But here's what I was going to so, get. You know, uh, let's say he doesn't want to go outside. It's snowing 10 feet or pouring cool. down rain. Then go and smoke it out. The, open the window and smoke it through the fucking window screen. Like, okay. there's a compromise on that. Fair enough. If you don't like smoke or... Get a divorce, fuck it. Oh. And I'm not, I'm not a <laughs> But she married him knowing they're just pothead. I know, that's what like, I'm saying. Right, I'm... I, mean, I feel like you can't change your stance on it. Like, I don't smoke weed, but I understand a lot of people do. I don't judge. But in a relationship-wise, I feel like there's just, like, compromise. Yes, you know, people compromise. You smoke, okay, cool. This is what I, I don't want you smoking in our bedroom. I don't want you smoking in the in the home. So can you go smoke in the garage? Can you smoke in your car? Can you smoke in the backyard? This problem is just like... And as someone who doesn't smoke, like I literally don't judge. Like You smoke for whatever reasons you want to. That's your business. But we have to meet a compromise. And if you can't compromise, then you're not someone I'm supposed to be with. Yeah. That's why I said, I mean, go outside. That's fine. I'm not into it. I just don't want the home smell. Like, like you asked me, or you said earlier, like, you had cats. That smell, THC, like, it yeah. sticks to clothes. It sticks it's to things. It's oily. So I don't, yeah, yeah. So I don't feel like it's unreasonable for me to say I smoke outside of the home. I just don't want our stuff, you know, smelling like that. That's my opinion. Yeah. And, like, dating now as someone who's like that, that's how I feel. All right, we've got another question. 
This one's probably a good one, given the situation. <laughs> I've never been very interested in politics before. <laughs> However, my perspective has changed due to recent events in the 2020 election. Since becoming more informed, I found that dating has become a challenge due to forming strong political opinions. I have a tendency to withdraw as soon as I find out that a person has a differing political view. How can I find a balance between accepting someone's different views without losing myself? Scarlet. Scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's a hot name. Mm -hmm. Joe Hanson. Yeah, so I just saw Joe Hanson immediately. She asked an um, intelligent question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's tough, Scarlett. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love how he talks to people like you, you, <laughs> That's you, my favorite part of this. You may not, um, you may not want to date that person. Um, you may not want to date that person if they don't share the same views. Yeah. Um, because you, you just may, th this day and time, I don't think you're going to get that far. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but if you can meet that person and y'all can y'all can move without even discussing that stuff where that that's not important, seem like it's important to you, I guess you just need to figure out what's important to you. It but seems if, like she's like on date. She's a single girl and it's dating apps. Yeah. And I know I have friends that are on dating apps and they they see certain Her things. Sisters. Yeah. Oh. Well, I joined again. I said my friends. I didn't. I don't know. Because <laughs> I see it. I see it like you racist or you not, oh. right? Right. But so see, I'm not. If you racist, I, I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. So I'm but not. Racism yeah. shouldn't have ever been political. It shouldn't. But it is. But it right is now. For yeah. right now. Yeah. So. So yeah. Yeah. So, I mean. It's hard. I don't know. I mean, I could be cool with you if that's what you believe in and that's yeah. what you follow, but I, I don't see you us have to have strong building anything. Yeah, I think in, ge in general, it doesn't yeah. matter recently or not. You have to have an understanding that for one, people are going to have different opinions. Yeah. yeah, And that's why politics, abortion, certain things, you just don't bring them up with, with people or, you know, whatever the case is. When it pertains to more recent events, I think that and this is someone on dating apps as someone like trying to build connections with people, there are certain things that have to be a hard stop for you. Yeah. It can't be your whole political party. You can't be like, I'm not going to date you because you're a Republican. It has to be, these are certain things that there it's not negotiable for me. Yeah. Yeah. And you develop that in a healthy way. Just like it, it comes up like, Hey, like for instance, on Bumble, you can put your political bills on what on Bumble. It's a dating app. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I know. So I yeah, it. you okay. can put your political views without like going into detail. And I feel like as the conversation comes up, if that's something that's like a huge deal breaker, once you get to a point, you have a conversation like, hey, I saw on Bumble, this was your political views. Let's dive more into that. And it can be just in a comfortable way where people are just sharing how they feel. And then yeah. you can review that and be like, okay, well, this was a hard stop for me. And you you feel very strongly about this. It's not going to work. You can't not date people because they have different political views. That's that's crazy. I, I feel like it's crazy. It's too many people on the fence. Like some like, people are independent. Some people like I, me, I lean more Republican when we talk about certain things. But then like dad, for instance, but that's is so like, more conservative. It's not, you know what I mean? Like there's conservative views, liberal views. Like those aren't political parties. Right. That's the thing that pisses me off with it is it's, you can have views that they've labeled these things, but there are people, for some reason, I don't know, we're the greatest country on earth, you have Democrat, Republican. You got to be one or the other. Yeah. I don't get it. Because people have some views that align with both. Right. I have views that align with both. Right. Me too. Um, most people that have morality have views... <laughs> Or just common sense have views that may align with this, 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 this. Me, me yeah. being halfway on the on the age, rate. Right, <laughs> right. In the halfway, yeah. he's in the middle. That shit is boring as hell. You have right? to listen to the podcast. Yeah. You don't listen. That is some boring ass shit. Yeah. If we dating and 
politics got to be a, politics got to be a part of it. Yeah. Uh, it I agree, it's a big but it never period. was. Even but if you, she, yeah. but she even said it's like until recently. Yeah. And, and that changes things. For yeah. Sure. It's, it's the, until yeah. recently. Because it'd be like we can't go here thing. because the Republicans ain't here and the Democrats ain't here. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. The fuck? it's yeah. the most ridiculous thing. And I said that today. You I drinking that? A, a Republicans massage. drink that. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. My massage therapists were slowly becoming friends, and she's very different than I am. Yeah. But we can talk, and she goes, "I love that we can talk." Like this lady is rubbing on my body, and, yeah. you know, or whatever. Yeah. But mm. we can talk and not agree and she can hear what I'm saying and a lot of people can't do that. And yeah. that's yeah. what annoys me. Yeah. If I can't to. talk to you, first of all, I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah. I either like your energy or I don't. Yeah. Energy. Period. Hashtag energy. And I like if you're a good person yeah. or I don't. But if you can't talk about anything but that, yeah, I got a problem. Even if you're on the same side as me, I don't want to talk about that all fucking day. Right. Yeah. I don't want to talk about these old ass fucking rich people, white, black, whatever the fuck is yeah. elected the one all percent. day long. I don't fucking care. Yeah. If you're yeah. making me feel like I'm lesser than because I don't. That doesn't I make think my that's yeah. what it yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. It's the fact of like you had mentioned maybe this week, maybe a couple weeks ago, but it was. And we're not getting into it, but just that me and Ro can have conversations about the vaccine. Like yeah. she's against it, I'm for it. I that's exactly what you were saying. I love that I can have conversations where yeah. we have differing opinions, and that's that's it. Yeah. And I'm receptive. People tend to think I'm like very like stonewalled, and I'm not. I may not agree with what you're saying, but if it makes sense, yeah. It's like I can <laughs> see why you view it that way. I don't agree. But I right. see how you view it that way, and then the, that, and then you know, and then it's it. That's that's it. And yeah, even if it's on, stupid I as think, fuck, I, I can see how you see it. Like what she said <laughs> is that's yeah. your opi- yeah. opinion, yeah. my opinion, this and we're came cool. To, for some reason, there's always been Republican Democrats. Yeah, there's always been white black people. Always, there's yeah. always been lower class, middle class, yeah. upper class. Yeah, but for some reason. All of a sudden, this is an issue. Uh, it's an issue. And I don't get it. I, I yeah. think Like I said, I'm about to turn 38, and yeah. I've never seen this be such a fucking issue. Me but I think I have the peace of all different religions. I have Muslim friends. I have Christian friends. I have white friends, black friends, Asian friends, all kinds but of... But if you I'm think about it, person. we're like, You're we're my not friend. the same age, but yeah. I feel like our generation grew up kind of the same and one of the biggest things and this has nothing to do with politics religion or anything it's social media it blew up so it's like um for instance one of my friends is like well is it that the world's getting worse or that we're just more open to it and it's like if you think back it's like if you weren't watching the news or talking to your parents you really and I'm talking about like teenage years. You're in a bubble. Yeah, yeah, you're just in a bubble, and that's just what it is. Whereas now our teenagers have social media, and then it's the even though our father was in wars. Yeah. In the Middle East, like growing up, yeah, we didn't know what. But the it's hell like was going you on. see yeah, yeah. more opinions being broadcasted, <laughs> and social media, just whatever, is being more in your face. So you have more opin, you know, more opinions yeah. coming out. And it's like, is the world getting worse? Or is it that we're just more, but we're I, seeing more I of feel it. for me, at my age, I have my people already. So you know who I am. You've already known who I am this whole time before this reason. You know what I mean? I'm about to hit 38. 36, according to my sister. Like, you know who the hell I am. Don't start no new shit with me. Like, you know, you know how I feel about certain things, and it wasn't ever political because I don't talk politics. Yeah. You know how I feel about certain things. If you're just not in line with that, then cool. If you've changed, you're not cool with that, then cool. Um, Just let me know because I didn't. Yeah. I haven't changed. Am I more vocal? Yeah, because social media is more vocal, but my thoughts have not changed. Kanye, what do you think? You seem like you're bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bubbling. Um, I'm gonna. Are you gonna sweepy swipey? Yes. 
on a political bit. <laughs> or not. <laughs> that's his app thing. Yeah. That's his thing. Yeah. Just swipe left. And it's so funny. Goes. He mentioned it like one time, and then when people say something, they're like, the sweepy swipey? Yeah. <laughs> so, does that matter to you? What do you mean? No, I mean, we've been together a long time. Not but... us. If you were single, oh, and you're on a dating single? app, and someone's like, Well, oh, if she I miss. was like all ditzy and talking about stupid shit, and I didn't agree with you, yeah, obviously, I'd be like, because that's the new generation. Because I'm, I'm, I'm dating younger. So <laughs> I, I oh shit! I don't, you, I don't, are, <laughs> you already are. You already <laughs> are. Full. Oh, you already are. Because you have to get forty. You about to forty is the new thirty. You're welcome. Though. Forty looking like twenty five. You're know. welcome. And um, <laughs> and I thought about that actually. The more the grayer I get, the more I start. Might start buying cowboy hats and shit. <laughs> Walking around my, I'm like, I need to yeah. go get some cowboy boots. Because Harper so has cool. her little boots, and I'm like, I want to have little boots too. Um, okay, well you get your own. I got Harper's. She, you got, you literally got her. I'm so saying I need yours. to get some. Yours. Or you can. Oh, never mind. You can't borrow mine. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Really? So, you see, oh, I have different size away. feet. We have different size feet. That's all. Yeah. No, all I was getting at is, yeah, it is a difficult time, especially for younger people to, to date. Um, it, it, and I noticed that because it is everywhere now in the media. I mean, you can't get away from it most of the time. It's everything's political at this point, whether it be saying something to somebody or this or your job. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. it's everywhere it is so difficult i don't know how people communicate anymore to be honest with you at mm-hmm. this point mm-hmm. i mean talk it, about your life what like do you mean? just talk yeah. right like how important is Unplugged. politics in the grand yeah. scheme oh. of because things. these politicians you know I mean? have been on that fuck shit excuse my language Forever. since the dawn of time yeah. yeah why all of a sudden it's now this divide like the, I, it, it just and i agree like sense. with what what Rob just it, said, it it's comes like everywhere. Yeah, it's it's, like, it's yeah. almost like there's so many more important things that we need to kind of vibe on in the dating scene to get a feel of who you are as a person. Yeah. That politics is almost kind of like at the end. Like, well, we can it address be. this. To, and to be honest, be. and this yeah. is this is a deep down honesty thing. To be honest, there was like certain people I didn't want to work around, just in case they were like. Oh boy, did this to me? What the hell? That's yeah, not but that's even not my politics. Character. That's yeah. just, no, but I'm just that's saying. people calling but when, out but, on but, that shit. But that is, going to what to he's that, saying, yeah. like working, I have this like amazing training group, and we're like, oh my gosh, like our vibe, our energy is just so amazing. Let's add everyone on Snapchat or not Snapchat, but social media. And I literally was the first one to say, like, hey. There's a hard stop on some of the things you can post, I don't and it shouldn't be like that on social media. Uh, I, I, I normally podcasts, don't. Yeah. But she's saying, I mean, in general. No, I know. Yeah, and it's, I know it's like, who are you as a your person? Whole view. Yeah. yeah. It, it's like Absolutely. you have to think of, like, when we were doing the podcast with your dad, I was so trying to think of what to say, not to say that I was thrown off, like, in front of your dad, even. And you know it shouldn't I mean? be. Like, but you know him. I know, but. But he's saying, yeah. like, it's such a huge world. thing oh, now. Yeah. It's like, yeah. what can I say? What can I yeah. not yeah. say? Yeah. Remember, I even said. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, well, I'm gonna like, be me always I said and say whatever shit I want to say. So it, it was not stupid. I was so yeah. thrown. Yeah. If it, that's how you feel. That's how you. But feel. it should be like that, sister. Like it should be yeah, just whoever just... you are, and if they're receptive to it, that's great. But it should not Lots be a politics. And like I said yeah. <laughs> on our last podcast, like I said, doesn't matter what religion you are. Um, I vibe with good people, whether you're even religious, because I have some of my best friends are atheists it is not your job, job to convince them to judge yep you either like the person or you don't and um that's it that's it like stop worrying about what jesus would want or moses would want or allah would want or you live your life by that because that's your choice. But you know that your God or whoever, Mother Nature, whoever, the trees, they'll judge in the end. Stop worrying about it. Just get to know people and love them. 
But racism is a non-issue. That's not political for me. Fuck you. Yeah. If you're a racist. On all, on all that, if you following something that I'm you, a black Jew. If you following something that you believe in, and you basing your life standards around those beliefs, um, it won't even be a question. Because those beliefs and standards are gonna define whatever it is you're doing. And, the and if, you if keep and, and, and yeah, and if that person don't mix in with your standards and it's not even a question. Yeah. But if you all wishy-washy all over the place, and then it's a question. And 2020 and yeah. an election all of a sudden affect your life. Yep. Like, did it affect you in four years prior, four years prior to that, four years prior to no. that? Because That's, it was it, bu- started, it was bullshit it started way 16. back then. I, I just I said that. four years prior, yeah. four years prior. No. That's my point. You didn't yeah. listen. Yeah. Four years, four years, four years, four years, four years prior. Nobody was the Messiah. Yeah. Our president isn't a Messiah. No. And they shouldn't be. I don't care who the fuck Ever. it is. Whether yeah. you like them or not, nobody is your fucking leader. They yeah. are leaders of laws. You got to follow certain laws. Yeah. Which we always have. And it's mostly on a local level. That's what you need yeah. to be concerned about in yeah. a fucking way. Yeah. Roll it on down. Yeah. Um, the, <laughs> the, the, the last president has been most influential um Dealing with people on our level than any other president, you know what I'm saying? But uh, final thoughts, Kanye? No, I I've always said this. Like me and a friend from back in the day used to get in religious debates all the time, and he thought he well, was this right is about political. Everything. No, religious. I know, but this, oh, oh, the yeah. question was well, political. You're not, Sorry, yeah. my bad. You're not Anyways, helping political and everything. Tiffany over here. <laughs> so yeah. no, at the end of the day, um, I just believe you should follow your conscience. Most of the time, your conscience is right, and most of the time, a lot of people don't follow that because they don't know how to hear. You got so much shit going on in the world, you don't know your true. conscience when you. That hear is it. true too. Remember, yeah. prior to 2020 or whatever, that was her her year. That's yeah. here. Who you were and who the people you were before that, and before that four years prior, and before that four years prior, and before that four years prior. It's like it are like, you revealed a, good a veil, and are everyone's you, just like, oh yeah, my Are gosh. you a good person or not? Yeah. That's the end. Basically. That's... Yeah. Stop Stop trying to represent these false gods. Yeah. Yeah. And just sure. be a good person. Yeah, and, sure. and learn and learn to hear your conscience. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you got so many yeah. that's distractions why, that's why in at, your ear. At certain ages, you, you need even... to figure out who you just yeah. need to be around. That's it. Yeah, good, good point. for sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> The conscious. Thanks, squad. Yeah. So we're at. You're like squad and a half. Cause you're we're like, at our section. <laughs> our, our, our segment of the episode where we ask 3,000 questions. 3,000 questions about me, about Cognac, about the girl, and about Aaron. Aaron has the book tonight, and she's going to randomly open the book and randomly. Aaron is shot girl. Shot girl. You be shot girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the girl, you be shot girl. <laughs> Open it up, and you have to mark it off, whichever one you pick. <laughs> this is <Just> great. <laughs> I'm not Re- studying, I promise. It's just funny. It's 1867. 1867, like a tequila. <laughs> That's a good number. Which one of your tequila. friends do you think is nicest? Which one of your friends do you think is nicest? Yes. That's a hard question. That's Ryan. it. That's all I do. Yeah. Right? Your friend yeah. Ryan? Yeah. Okay. No. I mean. Well, tell why he's nice. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Right. Nobody we, knows Ryan. Our listeners know Ryan. No, we talked about him before. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. he made it into Are episode one. Are you listening one. to the episodes? Episode uh, one. Anyways, no, he's just the kind guy. I mean, I hate to admit, too kind. Um, takes care of his kids. He's a wonderful father. Um. He just does the most to basically that's his, Be a good person. his base, his kids. He does whatever it will take to raise them right. And then besides that, he's just a nice guy. I mean, 
I, like I said, too nice sometimes, which... Round of applause for Ryan. Yeah. Um, well, hold on now. You don't give him well, a round of applause. No, we didn't want his yeah, biography, yeah. right? Yeah. No, That's I'm, it. Don't yes, tell yeah. him to the downside. No, I said we're one we don't time. use ASL. He's, he's so nice. <laughs> right? he's, he's so nice. We're one time I almost got jumped. Cause <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have Ryan on one day when he comes out in Houston. Uh, my nicest friend? It's got to be my gangsta. She's so damn nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's weird because like yeah. her name's Gangsta, but she is. She's so nice, she gangsta. Nice, yeah, she's like <laughs> the nicest person. She'll cut a bitch for me <laughs> if need be, but I wouldn't even put her in that situation because she's so nice. She is really nice. I have a lot of nice friends. Yeah. Um, but that's who popped up in my head. I think the nicest friend that I have. Um, is someone I actually don't talk to at all. Like it'd be like once a year, that but we matter because... never fall off. Her name is Tiffany. Um, she is just like this. Are you talking about my best friend? No. Oh, okay. Well, no. I don't want to have to X you out. No. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> but Tiffany is someone that is just she'll do anything for anyone, and I think that while I'm more of a like hard ass, she embodies who I am like at the core. Like you'll she'll literally do anything for anyone. She doesn't hesitate. She doesn't question. She's someone I haven't talked to her since I left um California. I think I talked to her one time in Ohio and it was I was just venting to her and telling her like what my situation was and she sent me a hundred and sixty dollars. And she's like, I literally don't care. I just know that you need it. And she didn't even know how much I needed it. Just from that conversation, she had no idea. Well, I think you need to reach out to Tiffany. No, I have talked to her since I've been in Houston, but I have not talked to her since maybe 2015, 2016, when that situation happened. Just talked to her out here, and it's like, I told her, I know how much you've done for me. Do not ever think that I've forgotten when I get right, I'm going to get you right. Because just and in talking to her, it's like I it hadn't even been that many years. It was just amazing. Yeah, there's people you can just reconnect with. And she has so matter. much in her own personal life, but it's like it all pauses just to hear you vent. There's no judgment. There's yeah. no anything. She's just receptive and... It, it's just amazing. Like, she gives you, like, an energy boost. Shout out to Tiffany. Tiffany. Aaron, Tiffany. Yeah. Because, Lord, we all got Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> Goes on me? Yeah. Do you, you can save me. You know how to say okay. my name? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hate I don't know if the listeners listen, but me and my sister both went, so it's me. <laughs> Basically. It's so Aaron with my, twins. My, my nicest friend. So I don't cause any conflict. <laughs> it's, it's cognac. It's Harper Rose. Oh. Because, <laughs> because what, regardless of what's going on in her life, when I show up. three-year-old life. Harley shit. When I show up, she stops what she's doing and it showed me that she really that appreciate me being in her presence. Yeah. And I could be having a bum, a bum day going through stuff. And, and that just really pips me up. So That light. Yeah, yeah that light. Well, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so she will not hit you with her G wagon. You are safe. Right. Yeah. That's what he Why are you bringing it up again? Yeah. You know, Dang. I don't know what y'all talking Me about. Either. That's what he's worried yeah. about. Mm-hmm. Harper Rose, we on the way to Hawaii. Or somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not gonna say Good old Harper Rose. Anyways, thank you guys. Thanks thank for you. listening to our advice time. Yeah. And, and, and to all the people who ask questions. Get a, get a friend. Get yeah. a real friend. Yeah, it's, it's a shame. You know so, I mean? But we appreciate you reaching out. That's the first step, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is the first step. I'm logging you, out. You're knowing that you need oh, to, shit. but you're asking the wrong questions. To the wrong people. Yeah, yeah. But, I you mean, need I to guess. reevaluate your friend circle, your relationships, all that. You need to do yeah, a root, root cause of, like a root cause analysis. But I'm going to be, uh, be on the opposite side of that and be like, take advice if your friends are giving you good advice, please. Because. But everybody should reach out by any means necessary if they're dealing with mental health. Yeah. Mental yeah. health is yeah. a very serious thing. Yeah. It doesn't matter as long as you know someone will listen to you. 
whether they give you advice or not, just someone to listen to you. Mm -hmm. Having dealt with something recently, please, there's people who love you. There's yep. people who will listen to you. Whatever. It gets Including better. us. Yeah. Yeah. Cognac tequila, and, the girl and the shot girl. And the shot girl, yeah. <laughs> Occasionally. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and, right. and don't take it personal if we laugh after you or give you some looks, but... Uh, okay, yeah. if, if you don't laugh, <laughs> then there's a problem in life. You yeah. gotta laugh. Like, you have to laugh off those things. For yeah. sure. But anyways, thank you guys for listening. We love you. Love like, you guys. subscribe. Yeah. We're on Spotify now. Yeah. I don't want any excuses, friends yeah we are we're in a lot of places deal now. breaker and yeah. apple podcast is free yeah. FYI. super free like yeah. free af right? most, most of them are free our heart is free yeah. we there spotify yeah. is free I mean, we're there. i mean i don't I know what i heard uh, is. amazon we there about her eye, eyes, eyes, and the eyes. And yeah, it's yeah. five eyes. Queen Kelly, I, I respond to all messages. Queen Kelly, I <laughs> want the, I want the knife. I don't judge. Yeah. You can be anonymous. I'll give you some oh, real, Lord. real shit. Oh, she's turned yeah. into Doctor Ruth. You know what? Ew. That's real aging quick. me, Doctor yeah. Ruth. Do you think it's kind of sad? I know. More... My sister, you know I'm gonna Google it. Oh yeah. Do you okay. find it sad if more people find uh, follow Harper than you? She doesn't she, have an Instagram. Uh, I, think, uh, I think that's yeah. weird. I will get yeah. mad. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like people I think who, it's weird when you have a pages and for you, your kids and your animals. And you write sorry. as them. It's not sorry, even weird that rude. you have an account. It's, rude. it's weird that you respond as them. Yeah. yeah. My kid yeah. is not Super making weird. Instagram and captions. I don't Remember care. I said that on the episode. Yeah. With yeah. You. It's weird. Just, don't do that. Ew. Don't yeah. let your kid have their own identity, please. Yeah. When they figure it out. And you be the main one complaining about pedophiles. Oh. Here Don't set the stage. Well, Don't set the stage. And that's how we're ending that. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Thank yeah. you guys for having me. You're welcome. Lila Tove, good you, night. You can come back, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. Love you. Love Mwah. you. Love my that's it for this week's episode of Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Follow us on all the social medias. Leave your comments and reviews. Until next week, keep safe and keep your squad close. Thanks for hanging out.